A servo motor is a small DC motor packaged with gears and circuitry that allows for more precise control over the motor's rotation. One advantage of using a servo motor is that it needs very little current so the micro bit can drive it directly. The input leads are ground, voltage, and signal, with a pin out matching the breakout board exactly. To connect the servo motor to pin 0, match the colors of the wires with the colors on the pin 0 port. Note that colors may not match exactly. Alternatively, you can use jumper wires to connect the servo motor directly without the use of the breakout board. Create an on button A pressed function. Under the advanced section, then the pins drawer, use the servo write pin block. Set the value inside the block to 180. Right click on the function to duplicate it. Simply switch the pin settings for button B, setting the value inside the servo write pin block to 0. Duplicate the function one last time and set the value to 90. We'll now try this out in the simulator. Alternatively, you can use the analog write pin block found in the same drawer, though this is less intuitive. Sending an analog signal between 0 and 1023 from our micro bit is the same as telling the servo to vary its rotation between 0 and 180 degrees. Note that regular servo motors have 180 degree limits. When button A is pressed, the motor rotates 180 degrees in one direction. When button B is pressed, the motor rotates 180 degrees back in the other direction. Finally, when both buttons are pressed at the same time, the motor rotates 90 degrees.